Welcome back to my nonsense. I built a bunch more of these little adapter boards for FFCs. Uh, I did refloat them this time, but unfortunately I need to really move the connectors to the other side so I can uh, actually reflow the whole thing at once instead of having to do the, the pin headers by hand. I revived an art project from 2001, an electric banana. I don't know why I bothered, but there it is. We recently got some motorized blinds in our house. Unfortunately, the uh, USB connector that they were using to charge them was really installed improperly and so it sort of fell off. I had to replace it with a leftover connector I had from my SMD soldering class. And uh, it took a little futzing around, but it worked more or less. I designed a board for the SMD soldering class I've been teaching. It's a little sort of VU meter style board with an AT Mega 48, which I used just because it had the right footprint and was cheap and familiar. Um, I also managed to get a nice USB HDMI out microscope to use during this class, which helped a lot. One of the things I'd like to get better at is um, figure out how to film the actual process of reflow. Uh, I'm zooming in here and you can sort of see when most of these components pop, which is really nice. But um, I maybe should uh, try to find a way to get a camera inside the enclosure. I'll see what I can do. I had to throw a bunch of headers on some pipe picos ahead of a workshop. Uh, I usually toss these into an actual breadboard and do the soldering there, but this time I thought I'd just use some perf board and see if it could make my life a little bit easier. It turned out this wasn't the right decision. They end up a little skew. And um, somebody left a disposable COVID test, a single-use COVID test at my house. These are actually fairly elaborate, and uh, I was able to crack it open. And inside there's a board with a fairly modern microcontroller. It's an STM32G030. Um, it's got a little SWD uh, interface, so I was able to actually connect to it and reprogram it. So it's it's quite reusable. Uh, the board also has a little uh, boost converter and a heating element, a little light sensor, and a bunch of LEDs. There's also some cute optics and some uh, nice little uh, fluidics involved as well. It, they're always fun to take apart. Uh, I recommend if you have a spare code test, get some gloves and just like rip it apart and see what's inside. They're always fun to check out. Uh, also went to B-Sides, uh, showed off a few parts of printers and other things, and um, that's been about it for the past couple of months. Uh, I guess I'll do another one of these hopefully a month from now.